today we're going to be making donuts. That's right. We're going to use the donut mix and the batter mixer and dispenser. And we've got a one cup prep bowl and we also have a easy read measuring cup, one cup size. So what do we have to start with first, Ainsley? We have to start by, by putting pouring in the wet ingredients like butter and milk. While all this is happening, the oven is preheating to 350. Why is Ainsley helping? Morgan, you can help when we're decorating. No! 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 Morgan. No! 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 Did you say I'm in trouble? I will just say I'm in trouble. No, I didn't. So now that we've put that in, and the reason we have to put the wet ingredients first is because we don't want all the dry ingredients to stick to the bottom of the barrel. So then Ainsley's going to push in the top, push it all the way down, and then turn it so it locks in place. There you go. Okay, now pump it up a few times until it mixes. So this, you can use an entire box of cake mix in to mix it up. Oh, we got commentary from my daughter here. Um, we'll mix the entire mix, and when it's all mixed up, then we will end up putting it into the donut pan. See, while she's pumping it up, I'm just going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to prep the donut pan while she's prepping or pumping. So uh, I've got the spritzer here, our new stylized kitchen spritzer filled with some olive oil, um, and I'm going to pump it up while she's pumping. So it's make double pumping action going on over here until it gives me resistance so I can spritz the pan. I smell it. Is it all mixed? Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll keep going up and down. All right. It's smelling it. Okay. I'm going to try. So I'm going to spray this. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. You can't try right now. You're pumping. You can only do one thing at a time. So I'm doing this while you're doing that. We both have jobs to do. Okay. So Ainsley's got all that pumping. How is it going? What does it look like? Can we have a peek? Yeah, it looks like it's pretty mixed we'll up and good. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. So now what we'll we need to do, where is the Mommy, lid? So where did she get that? This is the silicone lid. So what we're going to do we'll is now we need to dispense it. Hold on, Morgan. So can you put that lid down, please, for me, Ainsley? Oh, no, down on the counter. So we're going to take that out. We've got all the batter. And Nothing it's going to get big it. chunks to come up. And then I'm going to place it into the silicone thing here. And then we want to put it in at an angle because we want to release air. Because if you try to pump it in just straight, it's going to get stuck on you. So you want to put it in at an angle. And then you're going to turn the lid on. And then you there's want to settings. set it to so which setting should we do. There's a big setting, a middle setting, and a small setting. We're going to do the small setting. Okay, so let's switch it on over to the small setting. That's that's the big. The oh, sorry, the bedding, big, small setting. We're gonna take the bottom off, and, and then we're gonna squirt it in. To, oh. Let me do a first couple here for us, just so we can get the aim ready. So we're gonna squirt that in. See how easy that goes. I'll do a couple more, and then you can you can take over easily. I just don't know if your little hands can do this. Can you at least hold the thing while I do it? Okay, okay. you want to try? Mm-hmm. So I do this, right? Push it. So Squeeze the trigger. See because your hands are in the way. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Is it hard to push? Okay, stop. No, it's not hard to push. Okay, we only want to fill these three quarters full. I don't know what three quarters is. Okay, stop. Next. Do them all sort of evenly. So it's good because there is measuring portions on this if you're doing, say, cupcakes. You can get even cupcakes. But um, I did not check that. So we're just, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then we'll just continue on doing these. So like nice and easy. No mess all around the pan because you've got cake batter dripping between wells. This one is nice and easy because it stops. Mom? 
Where's she going? Why are you doing this the donut? These are the donuts Morgan that you wanted. Oh. You guys have been asking me for donuts for like a 24 hours. Oh, almost since yesterday. Now donut, I like donuts. Which is 24 hours. Yes. Sprinkle right, so. is my favorite one. There we go. Sprinkle donut is my favorite okay, one. Are you, you shouldn't be putting your fingers. Did you wash your hands? Mm -hmm. I hope you didn't use the sink at the back. I didn't use the sink at the back. We have a plumbing issue over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a little bit more information than you need to know. Okay, so we're just going to get all those done. Fill up the... Come on, Mama. I'm going to yeah. try again. I think we've got these pretty good. I don't know if I want to put these your arms in my way. I can't see. Okay. I know my name is Morgan. And Aisley. Little boy. Aisley. Okay. Mom. So. Mommy, Aisley. Oh. That's right. Aisley. Mommy. Try that. I'm just trying to even these out since I didn't. Pay attention to the portioning at the beginning. Like so but you can much. actually do this. But again, like it's nice and easy. And the other really amazing thing about this, it's all dishwasher friendly and it's pretty easy to put it in the dishwasher. So as soon as I finish putting these, they're filling up their taking finishing up the donut mix, I will show you how to take it apart and how it works. There we go. Pretty much got most of it out. So let's pull. Let's see this couple squeezes out. There we go. Yeah, a couple more. Have, these might be a bit puffier than our donuts are going to be. And the other thing that you can also make with the donut mix is we have a donut hole pan that got released about a year ago, or maybe it was in the spring. I can't remember exactly. Uh, which you can also use to make, say, like cake pops, um, as well as donut holes. So that's a, another fun thing to do with the donut mix. And of course, you don't need to use it our donut mix, but it is preferable because it's nice and easy for you to do with your cake mix. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that back on here so it doesn't leak. And we're going to pop those into the oven. And um, let me see how long we need to put it into the oven for. Pop it into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So we're gonna pop that in the oven and then we uh, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so we put the donuts in the oven and we're gonna show you how to take this apart. So all you have to do is twist it because you need to release the pressure from it. You're gonna, sorry, I guess I need to take that off. With your index finger, you're gonna twist it. I have a little bit of an issue here. So there we go. And then we're gonna pull it up. And then you can twist it here where there's the three little prongs you can see. You twist it, you open it up, and then you can put this whole thing, lay, lay this in the dishwasher, keep it all together. And then you can put this in the dishwasher and then you can take the in the bottom here, there's a dispenser. You can take that out if you need to, and then you just pop it right into the dishwasher. You want to put it on the top rack because you don't want it near the heating element. Someone over here is eating all the batter that's uh, spilled. spilled. Anyways, we'll see you in about 10 or 12 minutes when the donuts are done. Okay, we are back. So I have the new digital timer telling me that time is up. So I'm going to stop that. Ainsley's gonna open up the oven here. She has a cake tester and releaser, so she's gonna poke it into one of the, um, where's the cake tester and releaser? You have it? Okay, she's got it there. So she's going to pull out an oven rack, carefully, just partially, not all the way, because it'll fall out on you. Now, just leave, no, leave that in there. Take your cake tester and releaser out of your pocket, and then just poke into one of the donuts and tell me if it comes out clean or if batter sticks to it. Looks clean. Go for the big one in the center. Okay, I think we're good. So now you can put the cake tester and releaser down, which I find far more useful than a toothpick because A, it is a longer for like those big cakes that you have, um, and it's dishwasher friendly and so environmentally friendly. So now, Ainsley, can you take the 
put that on the counter, please. No, don't put it there, please. Put it on the counter and take your glove oven mitts and then you want to walk over, come on either side of the pan and pick up on either side, one oven mitt on each. Put the whole oven rack back in. could go all the way over to the cooling rack. Now, if you want to just set them on the cooling rack, you can flip them over. I'm just going to tell you, okay? our nonstick pans are pretty nonstick, and there's probably going to be donuts everywhere in a second here. I have a different way to do it. Okay, so the other way to do is what I do is I put the cooling rack on top, but then you might get some, um, some uh, do cross I take these squares. Off? No, because you're the pan's still hot, honey. Mm -hmm. So flip it on over, mm -hmm. put it on the counter, mm -hmm. all four legs, mm -hmm. and lift up. Lift this up. And there we go. We have donuts. Donuts. Careful, that's hot. So now we've got a whole tray Whoa, of donuts. Oh, there's so many donuts here. I'm what, just that we'll get to uh, decorate shortly, right, Ainsley? Yeah. So we're gonna let decorate these cool, them. and then we can decorate them later. Mm -hmm. We'll show you a completed picture of decorating because I'm sure that's going to be an event with these two girls. Mm -hmm.